Welcome to episode nine hundred. Sushi, Hui, processed food or junk food came from China. This is an outline of episode nine hundred. These are some of his most iconic brands of junk food. Despite a net worth of almost ten billion dollars, Xu Jiehui remains one of the most secretive billionaires in China. He was voted the most charitable man in China in 2014, before his company's IPO. But he grants no interviews. In 2018, he donated one billion renminbi to charity. His picture of his daughter. Su Yang Yang. He was born in Huan County, Fujian Province, China, in 1958. According to Forbes magazine, his father was a laborer and a kind of Chinese oligarch. He and his father worked for a food collective in China before the economic reform of Deng Xiaoping. In 1989, he founded Dali Food Group. His first product was the Dali biscuit. This is a picture of Dali Food headquarters in 2020. He refused to partner with foreign companies. That is Dali Group. It is like Tang Xun. It is through mimicking to surpass other competitors. It is like Tang Xun. It is not only mimicking, but it is also making the product better. It is making the product better. 他的创始人就是许世辉。几年前，有几家世界五百强食品巨头想要入股达利集团，开出了常人无法拒绝的条件。许世辉曾想要创造第一流民族品牌百年企业，他不愿意有国外企业入股达利集团。当一位世界五百强食品企业的总裁用挑衅的语气问他说：“仅仅靠你自己的力量，你有没有考虑到来自更多的竞争对手？”许世辉巧妙地回答说：“我没有考虑竞争对手的问题。”我只考虑怎样把我的企业做好。我把企业做好了，谁都不是我的竞争。Now the biggest regret of his life, in 2012, his only son, aged 27, died in a car accident. This is a picture of the pile up. This is a picture of Su Liang Liang. After the death of his son, his daughter took over to help his father. Xu Yang Yang, now aged thirty-six and still unmarried, is often referred as the food princess. Father and daughter took Dali Food public in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 2015. Dali Food competes with multinationals such as Pepsi, Unilever, and Nestle. Here's an example: his brand Capit. The pico is a brand of potato chips that contains various forms. In 2020, father and daughter Sue are very rich, but they are shy and secretive, despite being the leading philanthropist of China for many years. It's one of the secrets of his success. Sue works seven days a week and hopes his work style inspires other managers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Su Xi Hui Eight Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.